Hi everyone, it's Lori and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. So today we are going to do our hashtag Roxy's Weekly Challenge and this is week 28 and this week she's doing a floating pocket ephemera holder. So, excuse me, we will go ahead and get right into this. So I think what she, uh, Rachel used was some um, original like promissory note things that she had. Um, now I have some original um just different um this is from 1916 but just some different uh i guess they're pretty much invoices and different stuff of that nature however i did not want to use my originals because uh with my scanner it's not compatible and i think you've heard me say this before with my um chromebook which i hate and can't really invest in another computer at this time but this is like 1882 so a lot of these things I'm wanting to get um, you know in my Etsy one of these days I guess so I don't want to use the originals so what I did was just took some of them and made some copies let me go ahead and put these over here so what I did was went ahead and made some copies and I have already cut them down to size so we're just going to use these uh, one set I backed to make them look two-sided, and the other set I decided not to actually worry about it. Um, all right, so we'll get into this. Okay, the other thing she said we were going to need was some vellum, and I didn't have any vellum, and wasn't going to run out and buy vellum just to um, do this challenge. So I actually have some vellum that already has some different um, things printed on it, and I was thinking... Yeah, see, like, some of these are going to work. Because we would cut and tear them down anyway. So, yeah, I'm thinking some of these will work. So, we will be using these instead. There's some music notes. It might be good for... Yeah, it'll actually fit for the, the taller pocket, I believe. So... And then I have some of these that are, you know, decorative. So since I had these decorative ones, I did get out some things because she actually um, did, like, decorate the vellum. And then I have some with script back here, two different kind. Um, but since these already have flowers and all on them, I just got out, like, some butterflies and birds and things of that nature. So I guess we will just go ahead and get started. What did we say? would work on that one I think we said this one would actually work on that one so I think that would be like good right in there I'm thinking so I'm just going to grab a pencil and get this marked I guess where we want it to go um, I think I'm going to pull it up some. I've got it all crooked. Okay, let me do this, guys. I want to cut it somewhat right, right? So, I'm thinking about right there. So, we'll cut it there and there. And then... We'll cut it here. So let me get out my small cutter and hopefully this will work. Alright, so we're going to cut this one about there. Yep, that'll work. Looks like something's lopsided. Maybe I cut this lopsided. Oh, who knows? Okay, anyway. Alright, next. Let's see if this one will actually fit on anything or not. It may. So let's see which end. I, think I want to fold down this end. So we'll fold it about right there. 
and I think that will work. So we'll go ahead and cut that one there. Hope you're all having a good day today. I'm filming on Monday, which is my off day. Now this little strip can be kept of vellum because that could actually be used in like um, the little small ones like for stamps. So that can actually be used for that. Alright, so that'll work there. Yep, that looks so crooked, it's crazy. Okay, so let's get a piece of the... I think I'm going to do this darker script in the back. So let's see, I'm not going to do too many of these guys because... Um, This skinny one. This is 1955. Let's go ahead and do it this way, I think. Then let's just kind of see where we want that to go. So I think we will cut it about here. This way, maybe about where, about there. Then we can cut it this way. About there. So let's go ahead and cut these edges off here. And this off at the bottom. Alright guys, I think we will... Oh well, I guess we can go ahead and cut these ends off of here because we may can use it on the other one. I don't do that edge yet. Just to see. I think that'll just about work on that the way that it is. Yep, because it's too skinny for those two. Okay. Alright. So, that one's going to go with that one. And then this one, we can just go like this and use this one on here. Yep, that's pretty much the right size. It looks a little bit crooked or something. Well, we'll get it on there and then we'll we'll see. Okay, so what she did is she actually tore the vellum. She saw about where she wanted her tallest pocket to be. And I think maybe right in here. We'll just tear that somehow. Somehow, some way. And then. It's not going to look right that way. Okay, because mine had script and her, her pieces didn't. So that's why. Okay, so we'll just do this pocket here. And then she had a second pocket. Um. Yeah, I think we'll just do these with one pocket. How about that? Because if not, I'm going to be using up every bit of this vellum that I have just to um, make these few. So we'll go right down here with our glue. And down the bottom. And then down this side. 
Oops, sorry, did I hit you guys? pocket there. To make sure that catches. Okay. So we'll put that one over there and then we'll do this one. So let's see about how high do we want this pocket. Maybe we can go about here. With that pocket like that. Yep. All right. I get some glue down through here, and then along the bottom, and then up the other side. So it is Monday when I'm filming. I'm not sure if I told you guys that was off today. Had a pretty good day. My granddaughter Jaslyn hung out with me today. So she did a little painting in here. She actually took a toilet paper roll, completely her idea. I don't know where she got it from, and made a painted it up so it could dry and was going to make a pencil holder out of it. She made a little piece to glue the bottom glue to the bottom of it so it would stand up kind of like a stand so I thought that was a pretty neat idea okay all right so we have that one and there's our pocket now let's see I guess it wouldn't really matter if the script was upside down now would it um where was our other piece right here So we have this here. Really don't think I want to tear it down too awful much. Let's just do that. And then we can get this one put on there. And I did do some stamping on the inside of that one, which would have been the back side that didn't get printed on. On the next one we're fixing to do. We may do some stamping like on the lip up here or the flap down, whatever you call that. Alright, so there's that one. getting glue everywhere okay so we could probably put a stamp or something there like I did on these so I did these stamps there so that one's gonna go there so let's just go maybe like that on this one Maybe this one we can make a double pocket. I wonder. I mean, that would go, I think. Mm. Okay. Let's get this one down. So yeah, I think in an in a earlier video, I'm not sure if you would, guys will have seen that video yet or not, but this past Friday, I did something 
to my hip as I was walking up the stairs to go upstairs at work and it is still bothering me it had gotten better see that happened on Friday and it had gotten a little bit well it was really bad well it happened on Friday wasn't that bad didn't pay a whole lot of attention to it I just you know mumbled to myself I was getting old um, and then Saturday when I got up it was hurting pretty bad oops throwing villain in the floor hold on guys I'll be right back Um, I'm back, sorry. And so then Sunday, it did feel a little bit better. Of course, Saturday night I slept like eight or nine hours, which I never do, guys. Never sleep like that. Let me see if I can figure out which one I had this in. Okay, I had it in the top one. Put that back in there. Maybe. Maybe I could put that back in there. Let's see. Yep, got it. Now it's snug as a bug where it goes. Um, let's get this in there. Got my, got a new, um, Stephanie sent me a new pen for my glue. I'm so excited because isn't that beautiful? Look at how pretty that is. I love it. I like being surrounded by pretty things. Thread and glue designs, Stephanie. You guys go check her out. She's amazing. All right. So, yeah. So, anyway. Thought maybe if I stayed off of it, it would get better. And, of course, I've stayed off of it today. And, I mean, it's not as bad as it was Saturday, but it's still not, you know not where it should be it's still bothering me so i'm dreading work a little bit tomorrow i'm working six to two oh adjust um so yeah i don't know little irritated by the whole thing to be honest with you but anyway okay so now we're gonna do is decorate these guys um, what do we want to do? Now, this one has script. I didn't get out any flowers, but... Because I was thinking I was going to use the other ones that had flowers. Um, let's see what we have over here. A whole bunch of stuff, guys. Pulled out a bunch of butterflies. Oh, well, that's cute right off the bat. And some birdies. Little birdies. I don't know if I like the birdie on there or not. That needs something colorful because it's like, you know. Let's see. That might work there and then put a label here. I kind of like that. Okay. Maybe I will... Okay, I got these ladies here. I forgot I pulled them out. Is she going to be too big? I don't think so. I think she would work. Maybe we could distress around these and then distress around her. Alright, so let's go ahead and get this glued down since we know we want her on there. Oops. So yeah, I, I don't, I can't even imagine what it was I could have did. I don't know if I stepped wrong or what happened. But yeah, man, there's glue all over my hands. All right, so that's there. Let's go ahead and maybe distress that Mr. Birdie's whiteness just a little bit. Around here. Not a whole lot. Now let's get some glue on him and get him down.
probably should have put him up higher, but we can do a smaller label down there. If we need to, we'll be fine. Try to get that stick to that villum. Go ahead and just stress around her and get that done. Yeah, I think she may be all we need on there. She's pretty big. Get her glued up. Get her down and then we'll pull out the labels. Let's see what we want to do there. Maybe we'll put a label on the flap up here. Alright. Kind of like a little assembly line here. Alrighty. Let's get it. Perfect, guys. Absolutely perfect. Love it. Okay. Now, what did I say? Labels. So we probably need some smaller ones, I would think. Um, see what we can get away with. Oh, we could get away with that on there. Or do we want one more squarish? I kind of like that one. Alright, so those are not going to work on that one. That one needs a smaller one. I think that'll work. And then maybe, just maybe, we could do this up here. I don't know, you can't really see that. Doesn't that blend in? That blends in too much. Um... We have this one that's kind of cool. Yeah, I think I like that one. And let's see. I have some words here. How about saying it's a bird? and dream okay I don't want to put it too close because we're going to put a tab on there so I have to bring it up a little bit farther dream maybe over here and what else do we have in here no I got a label there what are you doing Lori okay all right, let's go ahead and get those on there and see what it looks like. And I think I may use some stamps. And I also got out my actual, these stamps. Um, that's what I used to stamp that with. So, let's go ahead and get rid of these white edges on these. And this one. So we may just get the three done, but that's good because I was actually only optimistic that I would get two done. And I pulled out all kinds of crap. Okay, glue. Get this one all glued down. This was a really cute idea. She posted a little bit later today than she normally does. I was anxiously awaiting and checking all day to see when it was going to post. So it's a little late in the evening when I'm doing my 
video, which it's only Monday. It doesn't have to post till Friday, but I have another video I want to get done. And um, tomorrow, you know, depending on how things go at work, being on my hip legs all day may not may feel even worse than I do today so I may not feel like even doing a video tomorrow so I wanted to go ahead and get these done just again get rid of that white around these edges right here looks like that one's already been done in black but it's okay okay so she put tabs and uh, well tails, tabs or well tails, not both guys. Don't put both on it unless that's what you want. Um, I did get out this tab thingy, punchy. And those of you who saw that other video, if it's already posted, know I had a time with that thing. It is apparently idiot proof and maybe in the idiot. Um, because I could not seem to work that thing without watching Rachel's video like 40 different times to see how she used it. So, looks like that glue is kind of wilting up that villain a little bit. Okay, top on there. Um, I think I want to use maybe regular stamps here on the inside of these flaps, maybe. Or on, maybe I'll stamp on this right in here. That's awful white. Let's see, what do we have? I didn't clean this one. I'm terrible. I don't even know what that says, but you know what? We're going to use it. All right, where's my little thing at? I did get my little, okay, there's my block. Six to say, I know I got it out. Now, which is the right way up? Okay. I think that three is upside right. Okay, now what do I need? Oh. Right. Yep, that works. Okay, stamp off. Alright. That gives that a little something something. And, yeah, I think that's all the stamping I'm going to do. I know, boring. No stamping, but, you know. Oops. Let's put that over here. Okay. Now, what are we going to do? Okay. I like that green one. Put it up there. Oh, come on. Come back. Cooperate. I know. It's operator error. It's not the stamp's fault. Okay, that's cute. Now, do we want... Perhaps a bigger one up there. Ooh. That's got a train on it. Don't really want a train. Although she could be going on a trip. So. That's cool. See, she's got pink. How about that one? Yep, we'll do that one. It's kind of a light reddish, pinkish tone, anyway. There we go. Got that. Alright, so we can put those back up. Take a drink, guys.
Okay, now I think we're good except for putting a tab on them or a well tell. We will. Yeah, I'm not going to worry with that tab. So we're going to do well tell, guys. And I actually have some here. So let's look and see. Sorry, please excuse my fat arm. Let's see, these are more muted colors. They may go better. I think so. Again, excuse my fat arm. Okay. So let's see. It breaks every time. Alright, let's see. Oh, that one's cool. I like that one. Let's see what else we got in here. There's a music note. Maybe we should find something a bit more colorful for her. Oh. Well, that's bright and happy. Yep, let's just do that one. Sit these down in here, maybe. Yep. It's a light distressing. And these two. All right. So with this, I'm just going to use the this because it allows me to move it around a little bit better because I could never get them on there straight. It does allow for a little bit of wiggle room. There we go, guys. So there's that one and there's our little pocket. Well, those are cute. I probably should have did this beforehand, shouldn't I? Yep, that's cute. Go ahead and distress around this a little bit. Quiet, I know, guys. I apologize. I have gotten a little bit tired and, and you know, a little bit worried about tomorrow. So, I don't know. I've tried to stay off of my hip and sitting most of the day. Um, but, yeah. Oh. It's raining again, guys. So sick of the rain. That is cute. Okay. Now let's get this one on there. And we will be done with this week's challenge. This is super fun. I know I don't sound like it was, but it was super fun.
Okay, there's that one. Oh, look what I did. That's okay, though. Oh, yep, those are cute. Okay, guys. Let me get a little bit of this mess up here. And then we will admire and look at what we got done today in today's challenge. Oh, guys, you know what I did? So I was trying to collect stuff for this. And, um... So I did a lot of fussy cutting while we were on vacation, like in the car. And I fussy cut pages and pages and pages of smaller birds. Now I can't find them anywhere. So I have no idea where, where they went. Alright guys, so this is Rachel at Roxy Creations weekly challenge and what did we say it was I done forgot already a uh, floating pocket ephemera holder thank you guys for joining me we'll see you next time